Oxidation and reduction can be understood from the aspect of uh, the first one is the losing or so gaining oxygen, eh? okay, and uh, losing or so gaining hydrogens. Uh, transferring of electrons means losing or gaining electrons that uh, is one uh, okay and um, changing of oxidation number out of these four uh, okay C and D you can use to to identify oxidations and reduction for all types of all kinds of reactions A and B only for certain reactions uh, okay it's not very useful actually these two are not very useful okay but C and D are very useful, okay? Because you can use it to judge or to identify the oxidation numbers, uh, so the oxidations and reductions of all kinds of reactions. But uh, C is uh, is a little bit hard for students, okay? For most of the students, it's a little bit harder, okay? To uh, to see the transfers of electrons, okay? So it's, it's a little bit hard. So therefore, I suggest, uh, okay, you identify the oxidations and reductions by using the the fourth methods. Okay, this methods uh, uh, is very useful. Okay, uh, changing of oxidation number. But anyway, you need to learn all the methods, uh, all the methods. So we have four methods to identify whether uh, a, a reaction is uh, oxidations or uh, reductions. Okay, but the last one is the most important. Oxidations and reduction in terms of oxygen transfer. If a reaction occurs, okay, if a chemical reaction occurs, in certain reactions, it's important for us to know whether there is oxidations and reductions reactions uh, happens or not. So therefore, this is the chemist they uh, they have a f they they develop a few methods for us to identify whether uh, oxidations and reductions occurs. Uh, in a chemical reaction, not all chemical reactions uh, have oxidations and reduction. No, just certain uh, chemical reactions uh, have these uh, oxidations and reductions. Uh, okay, and uh, the easiest one is this one. Okay, uh, we identify whether there is oxidations and reductions occurs uh, through the transfers of oxygens. Okay, through the transfers of oxygens, according to the definitions. Uh, uh, oxidation is a gain of oxygen. So if a chemical it receive or gain oxygen, then we say it undergo oxidation reactions. Reduction is loss of oxygen. So if uh, a chemical loss oxygen, then we say it undergoes reductions. That's how easy it's. Okay, you just see whether it's receive or receive oxygen or lose oxygen. That's all. But uh, as I told you just now, this is only for certain reactions only. Yeah? Not uh, all reactions. Uh, you can apply this. Let's see this example again. Okay? Let's see this example. So this is extractions of iron ore. Okay, so this is iron ore, and then uh, we extract it by using a uh, carbon monoxide. Okay, so we burn this uh, iron oxide. Eh? This iron ore, iron oxide, uh, with carbon monoxide. We burn it in carbon monoxide, and then uh, this iron ore, this uh, iron oxide, it become iron. Okay, it become iron. And this carbon monoxide, it become carbon dioxide. Okay, carbon monoxide, it become carbon dioxide. So let's see. Okay, this iron oxide, uh, in these reactions, uh, it gain oxygen or lose oxygen. Yes, it lose oxygen, right? From iron oxide to iron. Eh? So it lose. Eh? It lose. Okay, this one, you see, it has oxygen before the reactions. After reactions, the oxygen gone. Okay, no more oxygen means it lose oxygen. Eh? Okay, so just now we learned that lose oxygen is oxidations or reduction. Lose oxygens. Let's see. Eh? Lose oxygen is reductions, right? Okay, so it's a uh, reduction. Eh? So we say this iron oxide, iron oxide, it undergoes reductions reactions. Huh? Reduction. So it undergoes reductions in uh, these reactions. Okay. Uh, for this one, on top of this line, I would like you to write reductions. Okay. So this iron oxide undergo reductions. Okay. Uh, then how about this carbon monoxide? Carbon monoxide after reactions it become carbon dioxide. So it gain oxygen or lose oxygen. Yes, again, right? Okay, you see, just one oxygen before the reaction, then it has 
uh, two oxygens after the reaction. So it gained oxygens. Uh, and just now we learned that gain oxygen is oxidation. Uh, so so this is an oxidation reaction. So this is oxidation. Okay, so that's how easy it is. Okay, how easy it is. You just see whether it gain oxygen or lose oxygen. Then you know whether it undergoes reductions or oxidations. But just now, as I told you just now, okay, this only apply to certain reactions. Not all reactions. Uh, you can see the gain or lose oxygen. Uh, okay, that is the bad news. Uh, let's see this uh, redox reactions. Because uh, this reductions reactions uh, and uh, oxidations reactions, uh, it occurs at the same time. Okay, it occurs at the same time. So therefore, therefore the chemical reaction is called a redox reaction. Uh, redox reactions actually, uh, the red, uh, the red is come from reductions, and the ox is come from oxidations. Uh, okay, so we combine this red ox together, then become redox. Uh, redox. Uh, so this is called a redox reactions. So a chemical reactions where uh, oxidations and reductions occurs at the same time is called a uh, redox reactions. Uh, they usually occurs at the same time. Okay, when there's a re reductions for sure, then uh, there, there is oxidations. Eh? Okay, so when these two occurs, then it's a redox reactions. So redox reaction is a reaction where both oxidations and reductions occur simultaneously. Simultaneously means at the same time. Okay, so the next things that you need to know is uh, oxidize, uh, oxidizing agents and uh, reducing agents. Eh? Okay. Uh, this is also very important, okay, because in the exam they will ask you which one is oxidizing agent and which one is reducing agents. In the redox reactions, uh, compound that is reduced is oxidizing agent. The substance or the compound uh, reduced is oxidizing agents. So an oxidizing agent is substance which oxidizes something else. Okay, I'll, I, I'll, I'll explain to you later. Okay, and inversely, compound that is oxidized is reducing agent and a reducing agent reduces something else okay so that is the definition for uh, oxidizing agents and uh, reducing agents uh, according to our definitions of this oxidations and reduction just now uh, so oxidizing agent it gives oxygen to another substance and uh, the reducing agents remove oxygen from another substance okay now let's go back to the example just now eh? okay the example just now okay this one Okay, this example. Eh? So, uh, we have this iron oxide and uh, carbon monoxide. This iron oxide is reduced, right? So, this iron oxide is reduced. Eh? And then, according to what we learned just now, this iron oxide is oxidizing agent or reducing agents. This one. It undergo reductions. It undergo reductions. Eh? Okay. So the one undergo reduction is oxidizing agents. Eh? Okay, so it's oxidizing agents. Okay, now why why do we call it oxidizing agent? Because because it make the other substance oxidize. It's an agent to oxidize the other substance. Okay, so an oxidizing agent oxidize the other substance. So it oxidizes carbon monoxide uh, to become carbon dioxide. So, so therefore, it's called oxidizing agents. Uh, okay, but it itself is reduced. Uh, okay, it itself is reduced. Okay, so an oxidizing agent will undergo reductions, uh, but it oxidizes the other substance. And uh, this carbon monoxide it undergoes oxidations. So therefore, is reducing agent, right? It undergoes oxidation. Uh, therefore, it's reducing agents. So that's the idea. That's the idea. First, when you see a chemical reactions, okay, then you, you try to identify which substance undergoes reductions and which substance undergo oxidations, okay? And then uh, the one undergo reductions is called oxidizing agents, and uh, the one undergo oxidation is called reducing agents, okay? And this reaction is called a redox reaction. Uh, this is called a redox reactions. Okay, so that's how easy it is. This thing is very simple, okay? Don't, don't make it complicated. Now, when you see a chemical uh, reactions, 
okay, chemical equations, uh, okay, of a chemical reactions, you need to know whether the substance undergoes oxidation or reduction. Sometimes uh, there, there's no oxidation and reduction at all, okay? Not necessary. All chemical reactions uh, have oxidations and reduction, not necessary, okay? How do we tell whether there's oxidations or reductions occurs to the substance? Okay, there are a few ways to tell, okay? And one of it is to see the transfers of uh, oxygens or the loss or gain of oxygens. Uh. So we check, uh, okay, now we see this one. Iron oxide, okay, after reactions, it becomes ions. Okay, it loses oxygens, uh, so therefore we say it undergo reductions. And this one, it gains oxygens, so we say it undergoes oxidation. That's all. That's the very first thing that you need to know to judge or to identify whether it undergoes oxidations or reductions first. Okay. The second thing is they will ask you which one is oxidizing agents and which one is a reducing agent. So then you see the one undergo reductions is oxidizing agent and the one undergoes uh, oxidations is reducing agents. So undergo reductions, oxidizing agents, undergo oxidations is reducing agents. That's the second thing that you need to know. Now, if there is reductions and oxidations occurs in these chemical reactions, then this chemical reaction is called a redox reaction. Redox means reductions and oxidations. That's, that's all you need to know uh, for the time being. Just identify which one is oxidation and which one is reductions for the time being. Okay, we, we haven't moved to the complicated part yet. Okay, the second method is, is this one. Oxidations and reduction in terms of hydrogen transfer. Just now it's oxygen transfer. Okay, this one is hydrogen transfer. And according to the definitions, oxidation is loose of hydrogens. Okay, just now we learned that oxidation is gain of oxygens, right? Gain of oxygen. Eh? That is oxidation. Eh? But for hydrogens, eh? but for hydrogens, oxidation is loose of hydrogens. Eh? Okay, and uh, reduction is gain of hydrogens. Okay, and uh, just now we learned that reduction is loose of uh, oxygens. Eh? Okay, means that this uh, transfers of electrons uh, is the uh, reverse of ox uh, this ox transfers of oxygens. Eh? Gain oxygen oxidation, loose hydrogen is oxidations. Loose oxygen is reductions, gain hydrogen is reductions. Eh? Okay, let's see the example. Eh? Example, uh, ethanol is oxidized uh, to become ethanol. Okay, uh, this is ethanol and uh, this is ethanol. Now, you don't need to know what is this ethanol, okay? Uh, it's not important in our syllabus, eh? okay? Now, uh, from these reactions, from these reactions, we can see that um, this is uh, CH3, CH2, OH, eh? CH3, CH2OH. Um, and then this one is CH3, CHO. Eh? Okay, uh, actually, there's another oxygen eh? against this. That, that, that. Oh, sorry, there's hydrogens here, okay, which is not written here. Okay, so from here we can, this is CH2, eh? this one becomes CH, and this one is uh, H, right? Okay, and this the, the H gone. Okay, so from here we can see that uh, this one, uh, it gain or lose hydrogens. Gain or lose hydrogens for this one. It lose hydrogens. Eh? So if it lose hydrogens, then is uh, oxidations or reductions. Okay, so it's oxidations, right? Okay, so when there is a uh, loss of hydrogen, eh, then is uh, oxidations. Okay. So oxidizing agent give oxygen to another substance or remove hydrogen from it. Okay, and a reducing agent remove oxygen from another substance and give hydrogens to it. Okay, uh, that is how we identify whether it's uh, oxidizing agents or reducing agent. Eh? Okay. Okay, now let's see this example. Okay, now we are going to proceed to this one. Okay, example A, B, C, D, E, F. Okay, so in all of this, eh, all of these examples, you need to uh, you need to identify what is oxidized to what. Eh? And what is the oxidizing agent and what's the reducing agent? So let's go to the slides. The first one, zinc becomes zinc oxide. Okay, so what do you all think? This is oxidations or reductions? 
zinc to zinc oxide oxidations that's good correct eh? okay oxidations oxidations that's correct okay and uh lead oxide become become a uh, lead it lose oxygen right it lose oxygen eh? okay so therefore we say it undergo reductions reductions eh? okay so therefore we say uh zinc is oxidized to zinc oxide eh? zinc is oxidized to zinc oxide and uh, lead oxide is reduced to lead okay which one is the oxidizing agent among zinc and lead oxide which one is the oxidizing agent zn or pbo pbo eh? lead oxide eh? because it undergoes reductions right so if it undergoes reductions then it's oxidizing agent eh? so the pbo is oxidizing agents and zinc it undergoes oxidation eh? and therefore is reducing agents so that's the answer for the for for the first example okay example b let's see this one water react with magnesium eh? okay to produce a uh, magnesium oxide and uh, hydrogen gas uh let's see magnesium first okay magnesium eh? so magnesium it become magnesium oxide so oxidations or reductions oxidations okay that's correct so this one is oxidation okay uh water become sorry i think this one we should point this one uh, we should point to hydrogens uh, okay so magnesium to magnesium oxide water to hydrogens okay now water to hydrogen means it lose oxygens right okay it lose oxygens uh, so therefore is oxidations or reductions it's a reductions uh, okay so it's reductions okay it's reductions uh. so therefore we say uh magnesium is oxidized to magnesium oxide and uh, water is reduced to hydrogens hydrogen gas uh, okay and uh in this case uh water water is reduced right water is reduced uh, therefore is oxidizing agents uh. so water is oxidizing agent and uh magnesium is oxidized magnesium is oxidized so therefore is reducing agents so magnesium is a reducing agent okay so that is how we identify whether it undergoes oxidations or reduction and which one is oxidizing agent and which one is reducing agents okay do this by yourself eh? uh, i'll give you the answer later C SO2 is it a reducing agent now SO2 it lose oxygen eh? lose oxygen means it undergoes reductions and uh, if it undergoes reductions then it's an oxidizing agent so SO2 is an oxidizing agent because it undergoes reduction If you have done, then check your answer. Oxidation in terms of oxygen and hydrogen transfer can occur in the same equation. Yes. Okay. Not necessarily. It must just uh, transfers of oxygen only or transfers of hydrogens only. No. It can occur at the same reactions. Huh? For example, the E. Let's see E. Yeah. Okay. So this one, copper oxide become copper. So it's a reduction because it lose oxygens. And this one, ammonia to become nitrogen so it's oxidation because it lose hydrogens lose oxygens lose hydrogens occurs at the same chemical reactions okay so it can occurs at the same time uh, in the same chemical reactions